Powerade is a company that has been in and around gaming for a long, long time. Even before Powerade became Power A in 2009, they've been dealing with Nintendo licensed IP since 1999. They've been around. And in that amount of time, obviously you're gonna learn a lot of stuff about making controllers and just making these types of products better and better. And they definitely have done that. Not only does Power A make some of the best looking third-party controllers for the Nintendo Switch. The enhanced wireless controller is probably also one of my favorite controllers for the Nintendo Switch. But that's not to say they don't have their flaws. I'm not a huge fan of the D-pad on this one, and the old ones actually had a door in the back so you could put AA batteries in it, which has been changed. Now these do have an internal battery, which I think is way better. So they have come a long way with this controller. But a while back, I got these ones in the mail. This is their newest version of the full-size enhanced wireless controller and I figured okay they've pretty much done what they're gonna do with this thing until I got this in the mail and power a has proved me wrong this is the nano enhanced wireless controller from power a and yes this is my new favorite controller for the Nintendo switch What's up guys, welcome back or welcome in for the first time. If you are new here, do me a quick favor, jump down in the description, click the link to our Discord, hop in there. We're in there all the time talking about all kinds of things. So click the link and we'll see you there after this video. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. I'll go ahead and say it again right up front. I love this controller. It's missing some things. It's got a few little things I don't like, but overall, I think this right here, I'm gonna be using this for a long time. Now this thing's got a lot of subtle little improvements over its big brother that I think really, really set it apart. And we are gonna cover all of those little things, and I'm also gonna let you guys know, depending on when you are watching this video, how you can pre-order this thing, and I will also let you know when this thing will be available to get pretty much everywhere. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the obvious right here. It's not called the Nano for nothing. It is small. It's very small compared to the regular one. If you were to stand them up on the grips, this one would sit about, uh, about an inch lower than the original version. So it is quite a bit smaller. But the really good thing about this controller, it is very small. But when you hold it in your hand, for some reason, it doesn't feel small. I think that has a lot to do with the fact that all the buttons on this are the same exact size and about the same distance apart as the regular enhanced wireless controller. So if you have one of those or even a pro controller, grabbing a hold of this thing and using this really doesn't feel that much different. Yeah, your hands are a little bit closer together, but that's mostly just because there's so much shaved off the sides, not really because the buttons are smashed together. You know what I mean? I think it works really well the way they've done that. Like I said, keeping the buttons about the same distance apart, the sticks are even almost the same distance Apart. They are a little closer, but I don't think it's anything really crazy or noticeable at all. Now, obviously, for people with smaller hands, this is going to be great. I have about normal size hands. Like I said, no issues. Maybe somebody with big hands might have a little bit of an issue with this. But overall, comfort, I think this thing is great. And not only that, being the size that it is, it travels very well. It also comes with a little pouch that you can stick it in just to keep it safe while it's rolling around in your backpack. You know, nothing crazy here, but it does give it a little bit of protection from scratches or, you know, just anything it really might swipe up against inside your backpack. Now, since we're on the subject of how this thing feels to use when you're playing it, I wanna talk about how it actually feels to hold this thing. This controller feels extremely premium. If I had my eyes closed and you told me these were the same controller, only one is smaller, I wouldn't believe you. This is kind of a weird test, but if you hear this, that sounds kind of hollow, and that's kind of the feeling you get with this. It is a lot bigger, and there's, you know, a lot more room in there, so it kind of ends up feeling hollow. And another thing that I really don't like about this is, uh... There's a good bit of shake in the button. Not that big of a deal, but it, it kind of annoys me. And another thing, now that I'm thinking about it, if you listen to these buttons... Eh, not the most premium sounds coming out of that, but this is a whole nother story. Barely any button rattle. These buttons really do not rattle at all. Not only that, this thing is solid as a rock. It feels solid. The weight of this thing is perfect. For the size it is, it's absolutely perfect. And the buttons, 
super quiet. I gotta be honest, I was really surprised when I got this thing out of the box. All those subtle little things, just when you're holding it, make a huge difference in your perception of what it is that you're holding. But really moving on to the buttons and everything we have here, as I said, the layout is almost exactly the same as its big brother. The sticks are exactly the same. But again, they do have a more premium sounding and feeling click. As far as tension goes and height and size, they are pretty much identical carbon copies of what you're gonna find in the regular size enhanced wireless controller. And again, comparing this to the original version, it does have a battery built inside and is going to charge right here through the USB-C port and you're gonna get 20 hours of battery life from this thing. Very quickly, I did wanna mention something. I have not done a full review on this controller, but my good buddy Alex over at Switch Corner literally just did one. So I'm gonna link his video down below. If you guys wanna check out the review on the original size controller, he's got a great one. So make sure you guys check that out after this video. This controller does also come with a six foot USB-C cable. So if it does for some reason die while you're playing, you do have a six foot cable, which, you know, depending on how far you are away from your Switch, that's gonna come in handy. And it doesn't even have to be plugged into the Switch. You can probably find an outlet close to you, probably within six feet. So the fact that it comes with a decently long cable is a plus. Now again, just like the big one, it doesn't have rumble, it doesn't have amiibo support, but it does have motion controls, and it also still has those mappable buttons on the back. Not gonna go into too much detail with these, because you guys pretty much already know what these are, but the middle one is how you assign the other two buttons, so you can actually take any of these buttons in the front and map them to one of these in the back. I actually use this in Animal Crossing. I made this one my tool wheel, and I actually made this one my pockets. Not really the most practical way to use the buttons. Most people use it to map like this one to jump, when you're playing a first person shooter so you don't have to take your fingers off the sticks, but you know, island life. Now, as I said, I have not done a full review on the big controller. Check out Switch Corner's video for that. But I did mention those controllers in a video about accessories sometime last year. And I said the one thing that I really did not like and I still don't like about those controllers is the D-pad. And I am happy to report that this D-pad is a thousand times better. Now being a thousand times better than that D-pad, it's still not perfect. And technically it is the same D-pad, but the biggest problem I had with it was the D-pad was so high off of the controller and it was really stiff. On this one, it's much easier to press and it's way lower onto the controller. So it's way easier to slide from, you know, up to right or up to left, whatever you're trying to do you can actually slide your finger around and really use the D-pad like it's meant to be used. A long way from perfect, but way, way better than what's on the bigger one in my opinion. Now at the time of this recording, you can only get this controller in two colors. One of them is gonna be the all black version, and then you're gonna be able to get this gray version, which has the red and blue switch colors underneath the sticks here and on the shoulder button. I think this color looks absolutely fantastic, but I would also imagine that we are probably going to be seeing some really awesome versions of this controller as we go through 2021 and beyond. If what they've done with the bigger version is any indication, yeah, we're gonna see a whole bunch of these with Zelda, Mario, Pokemon. I mean, the list goes on. We're gonna see a lot of these things. I'm probably going to be getting a lot of these things. I really, really like this controller. I don't know if I've mentioned that or not. I like it. I like this controller. Now down below, I'm gonna go ahead and link the Amazon page where you can pre-order this thing. Obviously that is an affiliate link and if you use it, it does help this channel. I do appreciate that. But it looks like these things will be pretty much available everywhere just to buy, not to pre-order at the beginning of 2021. So even if you do decide to go ahead and pre-order it now, you shouldn't have to wait too long to get this thing. And if you can't already tell, I highly, highly recommend it. This is my new favorite Switch controller. I'm probably gonna be using this over my Pro controller, at least for now. It's good, it's comfortable. I, I really like the way it looks. I just really like everything about it. But guys, let me know what you think about these controllers in the comments. Are you gonna pick one up? Are you gonna pre-order one? Or maybe you're just in the camp of no thanks, I'll stick with the uh, full size. Either way, like I said, let me know in the comments below. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, make sure you are subscribed, and we will see you in the next one.